in court on Monday following his arrest in the early hours of Sunday morning. Police say Lamini has been arrested as part of ongoing investigations into recent violence and acts of intimidation at the campus. Supporting one of their leaders, these students converged at Cleveland Police Station when Gebod Lamini is being held following his arrest. Me? No, students are here. The charge that we were informed of last night was that discharged of assault. Uh, there was an incident outside the Great Hall where some white police officers tried to arrest Mkebo, uh, but students protected him. We were surprised why are they targeting him alone when he indeed didn't attack that police officer. It was students who came in defense of, of, of their leader. Last week, the university put in place a curfew to curb nighttime violence. The curfew states no students are allowed around campus after 10 p.m. What does this mean? Does this mean that if I leave res and go maybe to the matrix, I can't come back? Am I going to be shot at? Uh, it, it, it didn't make sense at all. We didn't understand it. I think even up to till this point, we don't understand what exactly it means. Academic activity began last Monday amid a strong police presence. It's very unsafe to live at rest right now and the academic activity has to go on. So we are caught um, between um, not knowing where we will go to study and caught between knowing what time will the police come into your residence and just shoot at you because they're even tear gassing uh, places inside uh, residences. We don't want police within our campus and it's uncomfortable to have them there. There's also a sense of fear because um, I know many girls were trying to, as I said, go outside and police were shooting rubber bullets within the residence. Uh, within our residence, we've even found the rubber bullets on the floor showing that police are shooting into residence as soon as you open the door. Um, and girls are just being peaceful. They're just trying to walk to supper to get their food they're just trying to go out and study um, and and do academic activities as the university has wanted some students have vowed to continue with protest action compounding fears that the academic year may be lost i feel like right now um, the movement has lost its plot you know and right now uh, ordinary students are being affected and not even given an opportunity to voice that their voices you know and to, 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 to actually go back to school and access their right to, to, to higher education. Fees must fall, gained their, their esteem and got a lot done with shutdown. But now we're in four weeks of shutdown and we need to start thinking about the country at large. You know, in terms of uh, students who are graduating, doctors who need to become in, uh, graduate and become interns, um, keeping the university closed or forcing shutdowns is going to negatively impact our society. Parents have also weighed in. As a parent, I would like the kids to go and write the exam and then the protest. There must be relationship between the government, management, the parents and the student. And then they must do this at the right time and at the right place. Fitz management says classes will continue on Monday. Hasina Gori, SABC News, Fitz University.